I bring you the prototype of the exosuit. Currently, it only looks like a work in progress, but this is the actual exosuit prototype. So, should we take it for a spin? Should. Okay, so you can kind of walk. Quite slow. Uh, turn really quick though. That's <laughs> walk slow, but you can turn really fast. So let's take a little stroll down into the depths of the ocean. This is so far so good. Kind of slow, but they've only just uh, added it into the game, so like I doubt this is what it's going to be like in the final version of the suit. Whoa! <laughs> you can fly in this if you just if you just hold the. button whichever you've set it to to go upwards in any of your submarines you can you can fly in the exosuit how cool is that so I wonder how I wonder if I could reach the Aurora I, re I wouldn't I really want to know if I can reach the top of the Aurora can I land on this? Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to find out. Oh, look how creepy and black the water's gone. And it crashed the game. <laughs> wow. I don't think you're supposed to do that. Okay, so sometimes when I'm spawning in the exosuit, it just seems to fall through the floor. So you've got to choose a spot. There we go. You've got to choose a spot that the Exo suit will stay on. So, like I said, it is still obviously a very work in progress. This is like the first model uh, that I've seen of the Exo suit. So it kind of looks like you've got two sort of oxygen tanks on the back here. Maybe they'll replace those later on with power cell or a battery maybe, or they'll maybe keep it as an oxygen tank, I'm not sure. Um, so there's obviously the legs, what looks like a tail, <laughs> and these sort of like hands I guess, I suppose that they will eventually be the arms of the exosuit, and then has a little belly button and then this is obviously where the cockpit is where, where my little head will be so, so let's try going for a little stall again I wonder if the exosuit will be affected by depth pressure, like how the cyclops is. So maybe if you go sort of too deep, you know, it'll start cracking in around you. Hopefully not, because I'd like to be able to go to like the lava biomes and stuff. On that note, should we try the lava biome? I think we should. Uh, I'm typing that in wrong. Biome. Inactive. Lava. God damn it, it crashed the game again. Okay. Uh, let's maybe try going to the biome first and then spawning in the exosuit, see if it works that way. Give us a little bit more of a scenic view.
whilst we're traversing around in the exosuit. There we go. I noticed they've done a, a little bit of work on the terrain in this place. Because at first when I came down here, these like little lava pools that you see, a lot of the textures were just like a glowing white. Um, so they've added a lot more detail to this. This has to be one of my favourite biomes just because it's so unique. And it looks totally awesome. Is this a little cave as well down here? Okay, this would be a perfect place to spawn in the exosuit, so. There he is! Okay. It's not taking any damage in the lava, which is good. I'm liking this. I can't wait to see what the final version of the exosuit is going to be like. It's going to be epic. And to be honest, I can't wait for the final version of the game. Like <clears throat> when I first came on the game, the the early access version that it was at was good how it was, but every time they update this game, I just Oh, I get so excited to play it, just to see what they've added. And they never fail to impress with the updates that they release. They've always been spot on. Maybe a few little bugs here and there, but that is to be expected in an early access game. So yeah, this has been the exosuit, The next time they do a little update on it, I will show you guys what they've added. Okay, so, there's a couple of little things I want to show you as well. If you look on the side of my base here, you will notice that they have added solar panels now. These have actually replaced the ugly looking power generator that we once had. So I'm glad to see that the developers have involved renewable energy sources rather than a horrible fat generator that kills all life around it. And now we, uh, <laughs> we're using solar panels. So I'll um, just give you a little demonstration of what happens when you build one of these. So if I go over to of these here, you'll see that the sun is at 84% uh, at this depth level. So the higher up you build the solar panel, the more or the higher percentage of sun that you will get. And obviously you can see on the right of that it's 100% uh, charged. Uh, and that should be the same on all of them. Yeah, I really like this idea over the power generator. It looks nicer. And yeah, there it is on the uh, construction menu on the builder, which has also been updated. I like this a lot. It's a lot better than that sort of scroll list that you once had. This is a lot better. You can clearly see what you're trying to build. And it's a lot easier to just choose what you want, really. So. That is a 10 out of 10 right there. So, um, one more thing that I want to show you before I go, is if I go into my sweet looking base here, there is now a sign that you can put anywhere on your base, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and build this. And then you can go and edit the text, so, welcome. There you go. 
And uh, I'm not sure what these arrows are for. I'm not sure whether that's going to move the text. Or not, I, I have no idea. Okay, so I just answered my own question. When you click onto this, say if I'll give you a better example. Let me go. <clears throat> let me go right here. So say if put the sign there. Give myself some titanium to build that, and then if you click on the the name and you write fabricated there. You could select that arrow there, so you know that's the fabricated right there. Or you could be creative in whatever ways with you could be creative with a sign. I don't know, that's entirely up to you. But for example, down that way leads to like the back end of my base. Or the little testing floor that I spawned the exosuit on. So, uh, you know, exit, 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 yes, exit, there we go, and you know, the exit's that way. So, in case of an emergency or a fire or a big Reaper Leviathan tries to bust in through your front door, you know exactly where the exit is, and you can make a swift getaway, <laughs> and yeah, there we go, I should really build a hatch there, shouldn't I? I should. Have I got enough? Yes. And there you have it. So, I'm going to end this episode here. I just thought I'd bring you a little quick update just to show you what the exosuit is like in its early stages of development and a couple of new little features that have been added to the bases and yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time guys, I hope you have a great day. Take it easy.